Hello and welcome to the February 2021 Gaming PC Builds of the Month. My name is Corey with NoobComputerBuild.com. Here we are another month uh, with uh, some good news and some not so good news. Uh, again, GPU shortages, as anyone who's building right now uh, knows, uh, are still a little bit low. So, you know, if you go around to sites like this saying RTX 30 series stock disaster, nearly, nearly 50,000 units resold by scalpers. And um, well, let's all get all this out of the way. Uh, NVIDIA's RTX 30 series GPU supply could not could be constrained until May, CFO says. Um, so when we get news like this, uh, it's a little bit disappointing. But that's not to say you can't get your hands on some of the new RTX 30 series GPUs because they are coming in stock. You just need to keep checking sites like uh, NVIDIA.com. So if you go here to NVIDIA to the GeForce RTX 30 series uh, spot here, you can go to the bottom and search through all of the cards and get notified uh, when they come into the stock. Uh, check out all of the retailers that are that are selling them at the moment. Um, and like here, click notify and see all the buying options uh, for each one of these, such as the RTX 3070. We can see all the buying options in here. And you can see, oh, check availability of, uh, of this one here and maybe Best Buy. But anyways, you have to keep checking. You got to keep doing your due diligence. Uh, some people say, oh, go to Best Buy on Tuesdays at 12 o'clock or whatever. Whatever works, keep doing it. Uh, check your local buy and sells for older cards if you're going that route because uh, a lot of people are still selling their old cards. But uh, again, they might be a little bit uh, expensive. But keep in mind that all these builds include the cards that they should include within the relative budgets. And the cards are either priced at their MSRP prices or what uh, vaguely what they should be if they're not in stock at the moment. So do not spend a little over what you should be spending. It would be my only advice unless you're really desperate. But if you're really desperate for a gaming PC build right now, uh, look for other alternative cards, which I will suggest below. Uh, but yeah, that's all the advice I have for now. But let's get started. If it's your first time here, we do uh, four gaming PC builds of the month here at Noob Computer Build. Uh, $1,500, $1,000, and $700, and $500. Uh, for a quick preface of who those might be for, the $1,500 build might be for you if you're gaming at 2K resolutions into 4K. The $1,000, if you're going to be gaming max settings at 2K resolutions uh, and high FPS, uh, 1080p, I would say. And the $700 build is for gaming max settings at 1080p. And if you want to dabble in the, into the 2K resolution uh, area. And the $500 PC build is those that just want to get up game for cheap and play any game at 1080p. Not necessarily maxed out, uh, but it, you can play with some settings and get some uh, good gameplay. All right, let's start with the high-end one. The $1,500 gaming PC build of the month for February 2021. Uh, this one includes the newer AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, which is now in stock at most places might be a little low, but uh, I've seen it in stock quite frequently these days. You can get that one right now for $381.45. If that's not in stock, a good alternative still is the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X at $325, which should be in stock as well. Either of those come with the stock AMD Wraith Stealth Cooler, uh, which is great cooling for this at the moment. The motherboard we have here is the Gigabyte X570 Aurorus Elite Wi-Fi at $199.99. The graphics card suggested here is the Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX 3070. If this one's not in stock, look for other RTX 3070s in stock. And if you can't find any RTX 3070s uh, for around $530, uh, an alternative card could still be the RTX 2070 Super, uh, keeping in mind that it doesn't perform as well, but it's still a great gaming card. Uh, so you can search other RTX 20, uh, 2070 Supers in stock uh, as well, if, if that's not uh, a viable solution for you. The memory we have here is a Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit of DDR4 3600 MHz uh, speed memory at 8299. Uh, the SSD is a crucial P11 terabyte NVMe SSD 10495. Power supply to power this beast is the EVGA Supernova 750G Plus uh, gold rated uh, fully modular power supply at 125.99. And then the case we have uh, this month is the Corsair IQ 220T RGB at 10499, coming out to a total of 1000. $530 for February 2021 at the beginning of the month here. Moving on to the next one, we have the $1,000 gaming PC build. This one comes with the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 uh, CPU at $199.99. These well, last month were a little low in stock, and now there's a whole bunch out there right now, so a uh, good time to buy. Uh, we have the Ray Stealth Cooler included here. Motherboard ASRock B550 Pro 4. Uh, motherboard here at $134.99. The suggested graphics card for this one is a newer RTX 3060 Ti. Again, a little low in supply, but keep checking uh, stock on those uh, for around $400. Uh, 
uh, an alternative less or comparable ver uh, card could be if you're uh, if you want a card right now is the RX 5700 XT or um, um, e if you want to go even lower than that another lower performing card could be the RX 5600 XT uh, but I'll leave that up to you still great cards but not quite as good as the 3060 Ti the memory we have is the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit again uh, 3600 megahertz 8299 crucial P1 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD at $59.99. Power Supply Corsair CV Series CV650 650 watt. Power Supply at $69.99. And the case, again, we have this month is the NZXT H510 at $69.99. Uh, and this bill comes out to just over $1,000 uh, at the beginning of the month here at $1,017. The next build we have. The $700 gaming PC build of the month for February 2021. Again, we have the same CPU, the AMD Ryzen 5 3600, $199.99, Race Stealth Cooler, cooler which is included. This one has a uh, an ASRock B550M HDV uh, motherboard for $75.99. This is a micro ATX motherboard, so a smaller form factor board. Graphics card suggested here is the RX 5600 XT, um, which should, it's an older gen card, so it should be more in stock than the newer cards but again if you're looking for alternatives uh, other alternatives could be the gtx 1660 super gtx 1660 uh, regular uh, the rx 5500 xt 8 gigabyte uh, but only uh, go into those if this one's not in stock and you really just want to get building right away memory we have is the hyperx fury 8 gigabyte 3200 megahertz kit uh, of memory here at 4599 crucial p1 500 gigabyte nvme ssd 59.99 Thermal Take Smart 500 watt power supply, $47.99. And then we have a Micro ATX Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L at $49.99, coming to a total of $759. So uh, quite a bit over $700 this month, but due to that inflated GPU costs at the moment. Now, lastly, uh, we have the $500 gaming PC build of the month for February 2021. This CPU is the AMD Ryzen 3 3300X uh, CPU. This is a newer one, a newer budget one that actually performs quite well and fits very perfectly into this build and it comes in at $130. Um, I want to caveat on another CPU that you could get if the graphics, if you can't find any graphics card for affordable prices to get within your budget and you just want to get up and game with an integrated graphics card or integrated CPU, which means it includes graphics right on the CPU, you could go with the Ryzen 5 3400G uh, for $259.98. Uh, that would mean you wouldn't have to uh, get a graphics card to start gaming right away, but, or, and you could wait uh, to get a more affordable graphics card in the future. But the 3300X would be a better choice overall. That CPU comes with the AMD Race Stealth Cooler. Uh, cooler, And the motherboard we have here is a Micro ATX Asus Prime uh, B450M A uh, for $67.99. Graphics card we have suggested here is the GeForce GTX 1650, $169.99. Other alternative lesser performing cards could be uh, GTX 1050 Ti or the RX 560 uh, if that one's not in stock. But as you can see, cards throughout, doesn't matter, low or high, uh, older gen, newer gen, uh, are just low in supply. That's just the reality right now. Memory we have is the HyperX Fury 8GB 3200 megahertz kit, $45.99. We have a SATA SSD, the PNY CS900 240GB SSD, $29.99. Power Supply Thermal Take Smart 500 Watt, $47.99. And the same case as the $700 build, the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L, $49.99. All right, so that does it for all of the builds this month. If you have any questions, do leave a comment below, and I'll uh, do my best to get back at you. Otherwise, visit the site here, noobcomputerbuild.com. Uh, where you can view all of these builds, more builds, more PC building information. As well, there are hardware alternatives in each of these builds, such as uh, if you have more money to spend on upgrades, etc. Now or in the future, but until next month, best of luck building.